Grass is greener on the other side of the marijuana debate. The federal government has been edging away from the idea of softening drug laws, but a Senate committee studying the issue recommends out-and-out -out legalization of marijuana. It's a decision that has taken a lot of people by surprise. Senator Pierre-Claude Nolan is head of the committee, and he joins us in Ottawa. Senator, people really are surprised. I think there was an expectation of decriminalization, but not out-and-out -out legalization. Uh, why did you decide to go that far? Uh, we decided to focus on the objectives without focusing on the labels. Uh, and we think that there's only two options, prohibition or uh, re regulated legalization. And uh, decriminalization is only a, ver a variation, a variation of, uh, of prohibition. Uh, because the real, uh, the real concerns of Canadians and our concern are twofold, young people and uh, criminal organization. And uh, the two shouldn't mix. And prohibition or even de decriminalization uh, is not uh, achieving that. You know how police feel about this, that yes. uh, you're, you're just going to cause them uh, more trouble and they've got enough trouble already. What's your response? Look, uh, they, ask for, they ask for a true uh, pan-Canadian, well-thought-out uh, national strategy. We are providing the path to achieve that. Now, uh, we are recommending an outcome for such a st strategy, and uh, they're going to be part of that discussion. So they shouldn't start screaming. How do you think the government's going to react to this? In particular, uh, Maltin Colchon and Anne McClellan, presumably they could come, they're obviously going to look at it from different points of view because yes. of their respective portfolios. And, uh, what's your expectation? And I think they, 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 they uh, I, I think, I know both of them, uh, they will first read and, uh, and, uh, and uh, there's some, 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 uh, a lot of recommendation and good material in that report for them to, to think of the future. But uh, if I take Mr. Cochon, Minister Cochon's statement earlier this summer, uh, I think there's an opening there. The minister is, uh, is, uh, is report, uh, there's some report that the effect that the minister have decided to, to question the efficiency of the actual uh, law. Um, uh, he wants to make the law more uh, efficient. Fine. So uh, we, it, there's an opening. That, it means that the government have decided to think of the actual system and to go for a better one. We are providing the minister and the cabinet mm -hmm. with uh, a range of, uh, of, uh, of uh, food for thought. But, of course, uh, Anne McClellan has been expressing concerns about uh, what her predecessor uh, attempted to put in place in terms of medical marijuana. So mm -hmm. one would assume, and we'll be talking to her later, so she can tell us herself, but that she might uh, be a little more skeptical about all this. Well, on the medical use of marijuana, uh, we, had, we studied at length and ex examined in the, uh, the, 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 the actual situation. As you know, we have a regulation scheme in Canada that was triggered by a decision from the court, a decision that have not been appealed by the federal government. So that decision from the, uh, the Court of Appeal of Ontario is basically uh, the end of it. The government decided to, uh, to answer to that decision with a set of regulations. We have studied those regulations, and uh, if you go back to the uh, pit and substance of the regulation, it was labeled as compassionate. Uh, a compassionate system of delivery of medicinal marijuana. We don't think the regulation are achieving that, uh, that compassionate uh, uh, objective. We are proposing uh, change that can be easily in, uh, enshrined or introduced in the regulation to make the system, the scheme, much more compassionate. And Finally, uh, and if, if, the I may, if I may add, on sure, the, go ahead. I know Mrs. Uh, Minister McClellan is concerned with the the uh, the, the intake or uh, the, the fact that marijuana is smoked. Uh, we we also have that concern. Uh, it's uh, it's there. Uh, there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, there's already millions of Canadians using it. Those who are using it for medical purposes have bigger problem than the concern they could have with the consequence of smoking it. But they should be properly informed of the consequence of smoking a substance. Okay, and finally, I, I'm curious to know 
what role the view of the United States, what role you think it might play in the debate that will ensue in the Parliament of Canada in reaction to this report? I think the role of the United States should be uh, should be at the international level. When I say international for the level, I mean international forums. Uh, I think that's the place where the U.S. and other countries should uh, should uh, uh, should have a thorough discussion on the future of international treaties, uh, which are in place to regulate uh, those substances, including uh, cannabis. Uh, I don't see, I, of course, uh, some people in the administration will have harsh reaction, re reaction without even reading the report. Some will, more, will have much more cautious reaction waiting to read for the report. And uh, I hope this could, could trigger a good debate in the U.S. Uh, I believe and my colleagues on the committee believe that the American population is not different than the Canadian population. They have concerns. Fine, we should address those concerns and make sure that in a public policy we are adopting guiding principles and we are trying to keep to those principles. People are intelligent. They should be allowed to make their own decision. All right, Senator Pierre-Claude Nolan, thank you so much for your time. Pleasure. Bye-bye.